here we've got a display of micro gardens done especially for the September sale. Uh, they show some small plants generally, although you can have a gavilia in them as this one is. They've been potted in regular potting mix and we've used pea gravel as a mulch on the top. Yeah, and they look just great in a little courtyard. Um, and especially the Alessian Altiers, um, I have about three in my front garden in, in pots and um, I love them, especially, you know, you have a lovely display of colourful flowers. And with the Alessian Altiers, they're not long living, but um, after a couple of years, you know, if one of them dies, I just put in another different one. So it's a, a, a changing display. And then we've got a lovely young volunteer in our group on Saturday who has a balcony full of Australian plants and she's one of our biggest buyers, isn't yeah. she? <laughs> Some of these uh, plants are quite rare. This one, for example, is Leshnoltia superba, also known as Baron's Leshnoltia. It comes from the Fitzgerald River Park, a long way from Perth on the south coast. And um, this one here is Leshenaltia formosa in the pink form. And I actually have this in one of my pots at home and it's just absolutely covered. And it's flowered for about two or three months. So this is a really beautiful one to have in the, um, in the pot. Um, and the Leshenaltia is in the pots, don't they? And, uh, and then this one here is a new um, variety called uh, Blue Butterflies, which um, we hopefully will have some for sale for November. Yep. In addition to the Lesh Noltes, we've got some Stylidiums here. They are great small pot uh, plants because they never grow very big. And we've also got some very small Darwinias in this pot with a little bit of uh, stone iron ore perhaps to offset them. The Stylidiums are great also. You can make a lovely little fairy garden or um, put dinosaurs in with um, <laughs> some lovely rocks in. There have been some really nice displays as well. Thanks for joining us for our Perth's Green Heart series. We hope it's inspired you. Show us your green heart and your beautiful native garden by tagging us on Facebook. Have a terrific rest of the Spring Festival, everybody, and thanks for watching.